it's magical. I mean, it's, it's, when I go to heaven, I want to come back to Pine Ridge Grouse Camp in the covers. I mean, that's, it's just, the Grouse Woods, it's just, it's a special place. It's a place where you can be alone, be with your friend, be with your wife, be with your fiance, be with your son, your daughter. The Grouse Woods are a place that, you know, you can kind of just forget about things for a little bit and just kind of, you know, take it all in. And again, it's not about, you know, shooting a limit of birds. It's about, you know, watching a, and being amazed at how a dog can run 17 miles a day and get a stick in the eye and, and have a bloody tail and still maneuver the grouse woods and boom, slam on a point and you got a grouse pinned and the grouse gets up to the left and you fire and you shake your head because you missed and you scream in the excitement because you shot him and you harvested. I mean, it's just the grouse. I mean, it's everything. I mean, it's who I am. It's part of. It's, it's just part of my, my fabric, I guess. It's just, I mean, it's heaven. I mean, it's magical. It's a magical place for me and my family and my dogs and my friends and our guides and, and anybody that comes here. It's just, uh, and, and I've hunted a grouse in Michigan and <clears throat> Wisconsin, UP, Maine, and everywhere you go, grouse hunters, it's just, it might be a little rock wall in New England with an overgrown apple orchard. It's still a special place because you know that thrill could be there any second. And it's just, it's a rush that I, th I think I get more excited when my when I'm guiding than, than, and I don't carry a gun when I guide just because I get more excited about watching, watching the people I'm with shoot their first grouse, shoot their 50th grouse. Because every bird's special. Every, you, you learn and you take something from every bird that you shoot, every bird that you miss. And, and there's not a lot of things in life that you can, you can say that about. And for me, uh, <clears throat> that's what grouse and woodcock hunting really kind of boils it down to. If you haven't tried it, you gotta try it. It's not for everybody, um, but grouse and woodcock hunting is, is a very special activity that uh, hopefully will carry on for another 100 years with uh, fine dogs, fine doubles, and uh, good bourbon. My name is Jerry Havel and I uh, operate and own Pine Ridge Grouse Camp in northern Minnesota. This is a true wild bird hunt. The cover is not easy. Uh, the cover's tough and it makes it for a challenging hunt for both woodcock and grouse. And really, it's the dogs. I mean, the most important thing, um, I believe, is you know, it, it's uh, the dogs make the experience. The dogs make the afternoon. Uh, even on a bad day, grouse and woodcock hunting, your dog's still going to do something special. It's not about limits. It's not about the kill. It's about the dogs and the, the birds and the guns, and it's just it's a very romantic and peaceful, you, you get to escape. I shot my first grouse off a tree with one leg off the branch at age 12 at the Lundeen Family Farm in Little Falls, Minnesota uh, with a single shot H&R 20. And uh, we had a crappy English setter like most guys starting out, but she was perfect to me and that was kind of my first dog and, and uh, my first grouse, and that's kind of how it got started a long, long time ago. Grouse is grouse. They're the king, man. They're, they are the best wild bird out there. They're smart. They're sexy. They're... they're hard they're they're everything you know everything you read about they're just everything uh, woodcock obviously for the dogs um, for the just the sheer excitement of you know getting three or four or five you know flushes on a on some flight birds
you know, today was a beautiful day. Um, the aspen leaves were falling, the sky was blue, it was gorgeous. And, and you know, you can, you can get away from all the, the uh, crazies of life and uh, the craziness of life by uh, spending some time in the woods with a dog and a shotgun. Dad, come up here. <laughs> Mr. Petro! Where's Terry Petro? Right there. So in tradition, when a gentleman or lady shoots their first grouse, we have to celebrate that. So with our tradition, Terry will tell the story and have our ceremonial famous grouse with your commemorative well, I think woodcock so. shot glass or grouse shot glass for your desk. Nelly comes in, locks on a bird, jumps in, all of a sudden there's feathers flying and everything. Tad's grouse is sitting right there with a broken leg and a tip of a wing broke. Hello, Mr. Right. First grouse. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> You know, when you when you pull in the driveway here, um, you, know that is on you know, I like to say, you know, you know, every day is an adventure in the grouse woods. Um, from lots of birds to no birds, to great dog work, to bad shots, to great shots, to finding um, a deer shed, uh, maybe seeing some trumpeter swans fly over. Uh, just adventure, uh, adventure waits. When you pull in here, you're gonna have an adventure every minute you're here. It might be from our food, our woodcock, uh, woodcock leg appetizer, to Kevin singing the blues, to Earl telling stories that Earl can only tell. So I, when people get here, it really is. It's it's an adventure that uh, that I'm pretty proud of. That that they. They keep coming back, and then every every year is different for them. Every year's and every day is a new day in the woods for them. You tea and all region every time you hear that dog's bell ring. They're running around and scaring up everything, baby, that they can. Dogs on point. Oh, you sit back and realize right then what a blessing this day is. What a blessing this day is up on Pine Ridge. Up on Pine Ridge.